Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Crack Mathematics. The lesson 8 today is about uh, subtraction. Beside combine and mix, uh, quantity has two other properties that uh, behave the same way but their usage are different and those properties are uh, reduce and separate. So both actions decrease the amount of the quantity, but each one is used with a specific condition. For example, suppose I have a set of uh, banana here, and I want to decrease the amount of piece of this set of banana. So if I start moving piece by piece. So which action I'm doing here? Am I reducing or uh, separating the the this uh, amount of banana? So which action I'm doing? Reducing or separating the banana? So what do you think? What's the common? word we use for this action, reduce or separate. You see here, the two quantities are similar, that means the one that reduce is similar to the original one. So in fact at the beginning we had 17 and we reduce 7. So here we use the word reduce. So because the reason is the two quantities that reduce is similar to the original one. So this is the common word we use for this type of action and we reduce 7 what's remaining is 10 so this is the remaining what about if I have this set of items and what I did I remove the paper from banana so what do you think? Which action here I'm using? Is it reduce or separate? I suppose we agree in this action we didn't use, we didn't reduce any quantity, either the banana quantity or the paper quantity. So we didn't reduce none of those quantity. So if we don't, if we didn't reduce any of this quantity, it does mean what should we use here? So we use separate. Here we separate the paper from its original set. And if you notice with separate, the removed item is not similar to the original one, so not similar. And the remaining or the left item is not similar to the original one too. So both items are not similar to the original one. Let's summarize about what we have about those actions so far. We reduce. So what we got? We got uh, uh, the decreased quantity is similar to the original one similar to the original quantity. But with separate, the decreased quantity is not or, uh, similar to the original one. It's not similar to the original one. And the remaining quantity with reduce is similar to the original one.
but with separate it's not similar so if I write it down in term of an algebraic uh, way so we had 17 and at the beginning so we reduce so let me use reduce as rectangle we we'll reduce 7 banana what's remaining is 10 banana but with separate we got 17 item we we'll reduce uh, 8 item 8 paper so we we'll use 8 paper we're left with 9 banana so which one match with the concept of subtraction? What do you think is subtraction is? Is uh, action of reduce or action of separate? So what do you think? If I use your common sense, so the action of reduce is subtraction. So the action of reduce is subtraction now if I want to give a definition of subtraction what do you think definition should be can you guess about how the definition of subtraction should be let me help you with some information so the purpose of subtraction is to find the remaining quantity. This is the purpose of subtraction which is called the remainder and keep in mind subtraction is an action so what do you think? How we can define subtraction? So let's uh, give the definition so definition so what do you think subtraction is? so we know that subtraction is an action so subtraction is a process so what's the purpose of that process is to find remainder so is is a process of finding a quantity called remainder so which action we take here is by reducing a quantity and this quantity is called subtrahend from similar quantity called manuend So, uh, using what? Using the reverse counting process. So, this is how we find the remainder, and uh, we use this symbol, which is uh, small segment and it's read minus to represent subtraction so what do we have? we have manuend 
minus subtrahend. So we have remainder. And in some book they use difference, which is the common use in subtraction. Example. So if I have, uh, for example, the 17 banana minus 7 banana, so in order for me to find out the remaining quantity, so I'm going to start from 17, I'm going to do the reverse counting. So we have 17, then we have 16, so I need to reduce, I need to go back by 7 units back. So I start from 17, and I go back by 7 units. So I got the first unit, second unit, third unit, fourth unit, fifth unit, sixth unit, and seventh unit. So here I reduce seven. So what's left? So is ten and go down. That's mean what's left is ten units. So here I will have ten banana. So this is how we subtract. Before we move on, I want to remind you about something very, very important. So I want you to keep this in mind all the time. So what we had, we had manuand minus subtrahend equal remainder or difference, whatever you want to call it. So I want you to understand this: the manuand is always before a minus sign and is always positive. Subtrahend is always after minus sign. Manuand is positive and is always before minus sign. Subtrahend is always after a minus sign. So if I, for example, 17 minus 7, which is 10, so this is my manuand. Mm -hmm. This is my subtrahend. I can rewrite the same subtraction in this form minus 7 plus 17 equal 10. It's not because I have minus 7 first, I will call it money end. No. Keep in mind, money end is always before the minus sign, which is positive. This is my money end here. 7 is after the minus sign. That means this one is my subtrahend. So we're not going to have always this order, money and minus subtrahend equal, equal remainder. No, we can have subtrahend plus money and equal remainder. So subtrahend is always after the minus sign. Money and is always positive. So both of them is a subtraction. The order of subtrahend and money and we don't have a fixed order, so they can switch, but still the after minus is subtrahend and the positive one is money end. Now let's move on on the lesson. So we say in the definition when we subtract, we use the reverse counting process. So when we subtract, so when we subtract, we use the reverse accounting process. So when we subtract. So uh, like I like I say I give you an example here. So we have seven minus three. So here what I do I start from seven then I go three units back. So this is the first unit, the second unit, the third unit. So whatever remainder is the fourth unit, but this will be my remainder. So that means seven minus three is four. So, but this process is not going to be useful if I want to, for example, subtract 15,793 minus, for example, 9,735. Suppose I want to subtract 15,793 minus 
9735. You see, to go back by 9735 make no sense. So we need a way and uh, to subtract those type of number. And this is where we're going to apply the definition here. And uh, to apply the definition, so we need to use the concept of numbers. So we know that every number is a mixture of distinct quantity. Every number is a mixture of distinct quantity. So I'm going to give you an example, which is uh, uh, we use a lot of example in the lesson two, which is when we talk about numbers. But let me give you an example. For example, if I have uh, uh, 579, so that n number is a mixture of five hundreds quantity and uh, seven tens quantity. and uh, nine ones quantities so nine ones quantities so so every number is a mixture of distinct quantities so when we subtract you see we subtract similar quantities so if you Remember the definition, subtract is a process of finding a quantity, so the remainder, producing a quantity from a similar, you see, a similar quantity. So we can subtract only similar quantity. So if I have two numbers, for example, 579 minus 231, I want to subtract those two numbers and we know that each number is a mixture of distinct quantity so I'm going to subtract the similar quantity it's only because 9 is before minus and 2 is after minus I'm going to take 9 minus 2 here no we cannot do that because this 9 is not similar to 2 this is the ones this is the hundred so the concept is I need to reduce similar quantities so the ones is reduced by the ones from the subtract hand. The tens is reduced by the tens from the subtract hand. And the hundred is reduced by the hundred from the subtract hand. So I have nine. So if I go back by one unit, it's going to be eight. If I have seven, if I go back by three units, it's going to be four. And if I have five, go back by two units, it's going to be three. So we have five minus two is three. Seven minus three is four. And eight minus one is eight. And we always subtract going from right to left always from right to left all the time so we start from the right from the right and we move to the left so this is how we uh, subtract but sometimes uh, that way it's not uh, always uh, easy to uh, find the uh, remainder especially if we have one of the quantity of the subtract hand is greater than the manuel. For example, if I have uh, uh, 253 minus, uh, for example, 149, I want to find out the remainder here. So, if I s if I want to reduce three by nine unit, uh, it's make no sense. You see, if I go back from 3 going back back 9 units, it makes no sense. So, in that case, what, what, what do I need to do? So, in that case, I need to make this 3 bigger than 9. So, to do so, what I do here, I borrow 1, 10 from the next set of quantity. So, here I borrow 1, 10, so what's left here is 4. That's me I still have 4 tens here, and here I will have uh, 13, 1. So when we have the uh, money hand is less than the subtract hand, we borrow from the next quantity. If the next quantity again is smaller than the subtract hand, 
we borrow from the next one and so on so we always borrow from the next one uh, on the left all the time we always borrow only one unit just mean here if I borrow one unit from here I'm gonna add 10 to the ones because one unit from the tens is 110 so 110 and three ones so it's gonna be 13 ones now I can uh, reduce uh, 9 from 13 so then I will have here uh, 4 and we have 4 reduced by 4 is 0 and we have 2 minus 1 which is reduced by 1 is 1 and this will be my answer for that type of question now my last question I want to ask you do I need to be familiar with the quantity in order for me to subtract? So do I need to or no? For example, can I subtract 5x minus 3x? Yes or no? <coughs> what do you think? Yes, why? Because I have 5 of this quantity x minus 3 of that quantity x. Both quantities are similar. I can subtract. So I got 2x. If I have 7 square minus 4 square can I subtract those two quantity? <coughs> yes, they are similar. I can subtract. What about nine triangle minus two square? Can I subtract those two quantity? Obviously no, because those two they're not similar. So I cannot touch them. So it's gonna stay the same. Nine triangle minus two square. <coughs> so what about uh, five x square or x two? minus 4x square here so what do you think I can subtract yes they are similar quantity x square x square so I can subtract so it's become 1 x square or sometimes we just put x square and this is the most common answer we use suppose I have for example 5x plus 7 minus 2x minus 5 you see I'm going to look for the similar here. What is the similar? This one is similar to that one. So I'm going to subtract. This one is similar to that one. So I'm going to subtract. So we'll have 5x minus 2 plus 7 minus 5. So here it will give me 3x and here it will be plus 2 because 7 minus 5 is 2 which is positive so it's going to be plus 2. You see? Do I need to know or be familiar with the quantity? No, I don't need to. As long as the concept <coughs> is clear, subtract similar quantity. Before I subtract, I look for the similar one. Where are the similar quantities? Then I subtract the similar one. And before you subtract, please, you see, I recognize which one is the subtract hand, which one is the manual hand. So for example, if I have uh, 8 minus 4x, plus 7x minus 3 you see you need to know which one is subtract hand which one is the manual hand so this is after minus that means this is my subtract hand this is positive that means this is my manual hand that means I will have 7x minus 4x this is my manual hand because it's positive here there's no sign here this is my subtract hand so that means I will have plus 8 minus 3 so now I can answer here so 7 minus 4 is 3 on the same quantity plus 5 so some of you some of you will ask okay if I have here minus and we have minus here <coughs> so this we will see it when we talk about uh, a negative number inshallah when we talk about negative number we will see this uh, type of, of case but for now we stick with the manual end is positive and uh, subtract hand is always after negative sign so that's mean the first thing you do when you have this type of question get the subtract hand and the money hand and uh, get the similar quantity together that's mean recognize which one is subtract hand which one is the money hand and recognize the similar quantity so that's the first thing you have to do before you do subtraction and I hope it's uh, it's clear I hope everything is clear to you now. So now my uh, question is uh, 
how do we subtract with negative number? So if we have negative number, how we subtract? So how do we subtract? with negative number so what do you think? you know the right question we should ask here is not how do we how do we subtract with negative number but when do we subtract with negative number? So this is the right question here. This is not the question we should ask here. So when do we subtract with negative number? So let's uh, give an example. Suppose I have minus uh, 4 minus 3. So I start with the negative money end and here we have a subtra hand which is after the negative sign you see when you have a negative money, money end it's a negative that means it's after a minus that means this is not going to be money end it's going to be a subtra hand and the sign is negative here negative here that means this is a subtra hand and this is a subtra hand we have two subtra hand they are similar so similar same sign if you remember with addition when they are similar same sign we combine them you see they are similar and same sign we combine them so this it's become minus seven so when they are similar same sign we combine them that's mean the action here is not a subtraction it's not because I have a minus here that's mean it's subtraction minus is just a sign that represents subtraction the action of subtraction but it's not subtraction so the action we take is the subtraction for that case here we don't take the action of subtraction we take the action of addition why? because the condition of addition are satisfied here same sign similar quantity similar quantity same sign I combine them The money you end here is not positive. So that's mean the subtraction here it lost one of its component. That's mean we don't have a money you end here. We have another subtra hand. So if you're gonna tell me where is the money you end here, I will put here zero. So the zero here will be my money you end. But we don't put this in in uh, in math. So but we always have a zero in front of the subtra hand. So that's mean this is the value which is before the minus. That's mean the money end here is zero. We have a money end is zero and we have subtra hand and subtra hand. So the two subtra hand they are similar. I combine them and we know when we combine two things says the type of the quantity and the sign of the quantity. So here when we combine the two will become the answer will be uh, a negative and here we don't have a remainder we have a sum. So I hope it's it's clear here. Now if I have for example uh, 5 minus minus 3 so here we cannot decide if it's negative or positive or is it subtraction or addition unless we deal with one sign. We cannot subtract or add with two sign. We need to have one sign. Two consecutive sign we don't deal with it. So if you remember the, the rule of sign we use multiplication so what we did we did uh, the same sign is always positive same sign always positive and this thing sign or different sign is always negative here we have same sign you see same sign that means this will become 5 plus 3 so the answer here will be an addition again. So it's going to be 8. You see, never deal with 
two consecutive signs. First thing, use the rule of sign first. Change the two signs into one sign. Then decide what type of action I'm going to take. Is it addition or subtraction action? For example, again, if I have 7 plus minus 4, you see here you have a plus. It's not because I have a plus, that means this is an addition. You see, remember, addition should be similar and same sign. Similar and same sign. Those two, they don't have the same sign. So what I need to do here, I need to transform those two consecutive signs into one sign. So let's begin. 7 minus 4. Now I can subtract. So here I will have 3. The same thing here, if I have minus 8, minus minus 9. Again, I cannot deal with two consecutive signs. So it's become minus 8, plus 9. So this is my manuend, this is my subtrahend. So here I can subtract. So here will be 1. So I hope it's clear when to subtract and when to add, especially when we deal with negative number. Now, next question is when the remainder is positive and when the remainder is negative. Because when we deal with positive and negative number, the remainder can be positive or negative. So when the remainder is positive and when the remainder is negative. So this is what we're going to deal uh, we're going to right now. To find the sign of the remainder, so two things you have to uh, do. Uh, the first thing is check if uh, you have a single sign between uh, two quantities. So check if you have, if we have a single sign between two quantities. If we have two signs between two quantities, so you have to use the, the, rules, the rule of sign to change it to a single sign. Check if there is a single sign between two quantities. And recognize the remainder from the recognize the subtrahend from the menu end. So recognize the menu end from the subtrahend. So that's mean you need to know which one is the menu the menu end, which one is the subtrahend. Then you use that rule. If the money end is greater than the subtrahend, so the remainder is positive. And if the money end is less than the subtrahend, so here the remainder will be negative. So we're going to do some example to show you uh, how this rule work for any type of question.
this is all about this in today so I hope uh, everything is clear about uh, subtraction and uh, all the questions that was in your mind was answered so please if you have any comments about the lesson do so it will help me a lot improve my way of teaching and uh, thank you thank you thank you for watching the video assalamu alaikum